So today is the last day in the Alps. Uh, yeah, it was raining pretty bad in the night. There's like thunderstorms and stuff. Um, and so I was like, oh, I might not be able to get to ride on my last day, but it's brightened up. I've got my longest sleeve on. Um, yeah, I was gonna go and do like 70K, 1400 meters climbing with potentially 12K gentle climb in it. So yeah, it's a few of us out, so just gonna go and have a nice last day. I really don't want to leave now though. Uh, and I got up this morning and three of the lads have left and kind of left really early this morning. Look at this lovely note. There's nothing more I like more than a note, a hidden note somewhere. Hi Katie. Thanks for the last, enjoy the last day and safe journey home. Clive, Tim and Dirtbag. I'll tell you a little bit more about Dirtbag in a little bit. Everyone's ready. Okay. You want to, you can just leave your bikes for that. and not really. Yeah, we, Graham and I don't do profiles. No, hang on. What's wrong with the profile? Because we've got big conks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Rod Stewart nose. <laughs> <laughs> bakery's at 50k. Handily, just for very small descent to process patisseries. Um, and then we've That's got the nice perfect, 12k yeah. climb back up to Lady <coughs> So greetings from the top of the climb, AK climb done. And oh, that was a good, good climb. Cause it felt like it was like five minutes. Cause the gradient was really gentle and they are my favorite types of climb. So now this is the number two patisserie in the whole of the land. So, well, baker anyway. So I'm gonna get myself a whole baguette. I've been craving this baguette since we set off. So I'm gonna get that, some Coke and just sit out in the sun because the weather is beautiful now, like this is the perfect, perfect last day and I don't want to leave, I don't want to leave so yeah, I'm going to go and sit down with the others now really nice group of people as well, so yeah, let's go Hello! Um, uh, I want them, uh, all of them uh, what did, Tell me what you asked for and you went in there What's the roller? How did you ask? Uh, it went up to the counter yeah. and went, uh, uh, bonjour, bonjour. Mozzarella? <laughs> you just waiting for that, would you? I know, I loved it. Oh, you did. I mean, look at these plant pots are just my type of plant pot. Look oh. at that. It's bread. A what? Bre look at the, it's a plant pot. Oh, plant oh that's pot. hard. Fucking hell. Can you beat that? <gasps> oh my god, oh, it's broken. I'm sorry, I can't even see them, but. Mm. That is a well deserved and tasty. Mozzarella. Look at that. With, with mozzarella, is it? Yeah, here we go. Serrurier. 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 Do you want to explain what you're doing? Chris, explain what you're doing. <laughs> he likes listening to individual French words, and this is apparently the, is it the hardest French word to say? Marche, oh, what was it? Ecurie. Ecurie. Ecurie, and it means, in fact, leave in the comments below what it actually means. Ecurie. You say it properly though, so people can understand it. What? The word. Which one? Squirrel. No, I've just, you told people what it means <laughs> now. You've ruined it. <laughs> I feel really sad. I know. I don't want to go. <laughs> go on, stay. Yeah, stay, 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 stay. I really do want Jason, to. Jason, I know. I was like, just stay, just, just stay. stay. It's easy. Oh, it's just the weather's so nice and nice group of people. I don't like this, Chris. Walk oh, quick. <laughs> I had the scariest experience walking over this bridge, look at it. I didn't like that, do you? Dude. I do not like it. He's That's looking great. over it. How did he look over it? Oh, it made me feel, let me walk on it. Oh, I really don't, I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm back from the ride now and it was around 70K and 300 meters climbing. So it was a nice steady 
it was a perfect last day ride actually and the weather is beautiful now and I'm really sad because I've got to come back and I've got to pack my bike up and leave basically I've got a few hours before I go to the airport <sighs> and I don't want to leave the other lads are going to go up to the lake and I'm just going to be here packing my bike waiting to go to the airport um, I'm going to grab a quick chat with Ali and James who run uh, 44 South before I leave so they can I'll ask them a few questions about Morzine if you ever want to come out here because it is just absolute paradise for cycling if you like long climbs beautiful views beautiful mountains and just so much variety i'll let them tell you a little bit more about it though you know what you say this is my hair look all right well, you're fantastic <laughs> thanks, yeah. did it. okay <laughs> okay so i just want to say thanks so much for having me out nice and you. just want to chat to you really about like morzine and why you decided to base yourselves here um, okay, so uh, I had been a mountain biker coming here since the year 2000 um, and I'd come out every every year to do the trails and uh, it's just somewhere I've met a lot of really great people um, just falling in love with the mountains really. What made um, you what made you road bike first? Uh, road what biking that was to lose weight after I'd done too many winters, oh. too much beer drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I made the switch. But that was the thing about Morzine; it was great for mountain bikers and also um, was awesome for road biking as well. So, just yeah, just special to me. So. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'll go along with what James wants to do for the first year he really likes Morzine so we'll try it out but actually I reckon we'll move it somewhere else after that and then I came here and spent a summer in Morzine and was blown away by it and again I came from mountain biking and never really done much road biking and um, suddenly all the roads that we had on the doorstep here were just amazing whereas most other places I've been in the Alps you have one road going through or you're at the top of a long climb and so every end of the ride you're like oh no or, um, but here we could there's lots of options. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then ten years later, still here. Still here. <laughs> it is <laughs> like. <I've> <laughs> <laughs> but it's just on the five days that I've been here. There's been so much variety of climbs. Like there's so many long climbs within like a hundred k loop, which I think is yeah phenomenal. Yeah. 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 And yeah. not just long climbs. Actually, there's lots of other bits in between too. Like I'm still finding. I mean, this is actually the seventh year of running. Of, doing the business and I'm still finding new little roads mm. to take people on and for me to go ride and well, like today like time. we had the option of doing a, okay, a shorter loop but the climbs aren't they're not always long and steep and arduous painful um, painful um, yeah there's just a good selection something for everyone Definitely. really yeah so, yeah. so what are your favorites uh, Juva is my favorite so that is um, two kilometers just down the road from here. Literally, uh, it is, right down yeah, yeah. right on our doorstep. Um, it's just got a mix of everything. It's gentle up to the lake, You've got the beautiful lake, uh, which is nice and flat around there for a K. Then you sort of ramp up a bit, a little bit steep and spicy in the middle. Uh, and you get to the goat village. This is, a, a, this is a village where just goats just roam around. Yeah, um, you can feed the goats. Yeah, you can you feed them. A, you have to dodge their puddles yeah. in the road. <laughs> get a goat selfie. Um, and then the last 5k is fairly gentle until the last kilometre, it just kicks up a little bit. And, uh, it's lovely. And then yeah, yeah, amazing and that, views. And that is a 30k loop. Yeah, so then you've got the amazing descent down from Avoria uh, back into Morzine, which is just something like uh, 20 hairpins. I think it's 19. 19 hairpins. It's decent. It's, yeah, it's pretty really good, lovely descent. Yeah. I really like it. Much better hairpins than Abdomen's. Yeah. Yeah. It was really, really beautiful. Yeah. So. And Ali? Well, I'm going to cheat and <laughs> choose two because I can have an up and then a down. Uh, so I was going to choose Juvert as my favourite climb as well, but James has nicked it already. <laughs> so I am going to choose, actually, um, Juplan, which is another one on the doorstep here. And it's got two sides. And I'm going to choose the easiest climb side mm -hmm. because you climb right from Morzine. It's still quite hard. Um, you go through the ski area, you end up riding up what is the blue ski, and the ski run in the winter and then you get to the top and you go around the corner and Mont Blanc is just there and it's amazing. 
and then my descent is going to be called La Colombia which is a little bit further away but still a day ride and it is the most amazing sweeping flowing hairpin descent that's and one I've not done and I'm like oh. yeah. just let rip you don't have to be hanging on the brakes you can let rip and it, it's, it's been awesome in the tour well, a lot yeah. it's an awesome climb too yeah. and how far can't really choose one <laughs> but how far away is the Yeah. Uh, so it's about an hour and a half ride to the bottom of it. And so it's, so everything's a, so close. It's yeah. about 125k loop. Uh, but it's, it's a big ride, but it's a good one. Mm. And um, it's been in the tour a lot, like you plan as well. But uh, so you really feel, yeah, I don't know, it's just it's a really nice, nice. flowing ride. It's a fun. They're the best descents yeah. where you can just yeah move yeah. down. Perfect. You can let rip on it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So yeah. But it basically changes according, my favourite changes to what we've done that week and what I mean, you've done as you plan, you're doing as you plan for the third time this week. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe not my favourite at the moment. <laughs> just Amazing. So well. But yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Oh, thank you so much again. Thank you yeah. so yeah. much for coming. Oh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. It. I, yeah, it's so cool showing people around here and. There is so many different options of riding as well. I'm really impressed Often with it. Often get a bit overexcited at trying to cram too many climbs in mm. and too many things in. Yeah. Wanna... But I think for me, like I was saying before, like where I stayed in the Alps before was saint jean de Maurienne, and that was like so, not remote, but it took a long way to get to any other climbs. Whereas mm. here, there's so many different climbs within mm. like 100k loop and it's just, yeah, it's good. There are lots yeah, of options. Yeah. Lots of variety. Yeah. And then a lake to go. Yeah. Chilling afterwards. Yeah, that is nice. Very nice. Right, well, gotta go and pack up my awesome. bike then. Yeah, I'm sad to see thank you. Thank you so much. I know, I don't want to. Go. Well, thank you again so much. You are. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. I don't want to do this. <sighs> right, well, I'll say goodbye now. Lovely to have met you. Have a, have a lovely time. You're an awesome. Thanks. Everything. Oh, you're too nice. Don't go. Don't go. I've got to go. I don't want to. It was lovely to meet you. Oh, lovely you're fabulous. To meet you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yo, you're so nice. Mm -hmm. Good luck this weekend. Good luck with everything. Yeah. Good luck with your lives. Yeah. <laughs>